Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. For the past eight weeks, I've been going through online distance learning a lot like the majority of the world at the moment. As part of online distance learning, I created an interactive Bitmoji classroom and a tutorial to support people around the world. The majority of the people who watched that video were from the USA. Now, just as I thought things were starting to settle down on the Bitmoji classroom front, Facebook decided to do something a little bit different and they have decided to create Facebook avatars. Right now they're only released within the USA so what I'm hoping to do is to create this tutorial for you guys within the USA to talk about how you can integrate those avatars into your classroom but then also for when they come out to the rest of the world hopefully they're useful to someone out there. To start off with they're not really that different to Bitmojis however it's a bit like playing The Sims and getting that add-on you know when a bonus pack comes out and you've got like those new characters and it's it's just something perhaps something fun and not monotonous for you guys but also perhaps something interesting for the children. To start off with when you want to find your Facebook avatar you need to go into your Facebook app. In the bottom right hand corner you need to click the three lines and you will be taken to a menu. From there you'll have the option of clicking on avatars. Once you've done that press next and then from there click get started. After you've done that, that's the fun bit where, a bit like with Bitmoji, you get to customise your character and just sort of make you essentially. When you have your personalised Facebook avatar, you can use it within a range of different things on Facebook and you can use it for comments, stories and things like that. Now you're probably thinking, well, how does that, how is that going to be brought into the world of Bitmoji classrooms? And that's where we start to use different online tools. So let's jump to our on-screen tutorial. So what you're going to do to be able to get your avatar from Facebook onto your interactive classroom is you're going to, if you're on a Windows computer, use the snipping tool or you're going to press Command Shift 4 to use something similar on a MacBook. Obviously, if you're on an iPad or something, then you just need to screenshot and crop. Once you've done that, you're going to go to Remove Background, which is going to then take the background away from the Facebook avatar. Drag and drop the avatar straight on to the remove BG and as you can see here it's just removed it really simply I haven't got to go around with any of the tools or anything like that to be able to remove the background even further it's just a really nice clean remove background so I'll press download that's going to go down in this corner now obviously you can rename it uh, we'll open up one of the virtual classrooms now so now that we're on the virtual classroom we're going to get rid of the bitmoji person so we're going to click on him get rid of him, get rid of him. Then we're going to go to our downloads because we remember we downloaded it earlier. So we'll go to there and just drag and drop him on. And there we go. Now from here, you could do a range of different things. As I've shown you before in a previous video, you could turn this person into a talking Facebook avatar thing, or you can just use different uh, avatar pictures and things like that. Hopefully you find this video somewhat useful. As I said at the start of the video, it's not something that's going to change online learning, but it is something that might bring a smile to your faces and potentially children. So it's there for you if you find it useful. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe down in the corner. I always really appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you in the next one for more useful online learning tutorials. I'm out.